Hi and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, please subscribe, press the bell button to get notified and share and like. And yeah, sit back. Here's a doily and a book haul that um, that I've got. I don't normally do this sort of stuff on camera, but hey, it was worth having a look. Okay, so enjoy. I'll just go through them real quick. I couldn't believe it. It said on the thing a dollar each and 50 cents each. So I thought, oh yeah, I'll just pick a few out. And when I got to the checkout, the guy goes, oh, that'll be 50 cents. I was like, yes. <laughs> and then I went back the, the week after and I thought, oh gosh, I hope they do the same for me. And I got to the checkout with a bigger lot than even last time. She goes, oh, that'll be 50 cents. <laughs> I was well prepared to pay the money. Isn't that beautiful? There's some real, look at the fine work on this one. It's amazing. Absolutely amazing. Some nice little ones. Another really fine, detailed one. Gosh, I can't blind doing that. I just love old doilies. I've put some on junk journals, but um, look at that one. That's gorgeous. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Now this one I especially love. It's got a little mark there, but that doesn't bother me. Isn't that so pretty? Now I picked up these three because back in the day my mum used to do hobby techs. This is done with hobby techs. I thought they were embroidered at first but then when I had a closer look it was hobby techs. And it just reminded me so much of my mum. My mum can't see real good these days so she doesn't do a whole lot of the hobby techs anymore. I know she would love to. So I can encourage her to do it. But um, So there was three in that little set, there's two the same in that. I think that one matches the one, the bigger one underneath. This one had a few stains on it, but the stains don't bother me that much, depending what you're going to do with them. This one is really cute, with the coloured flowers, isn't it? That's so cute. I just couldn't believe I got this whole bundle for for a dollar, two different times, for 50 cents. There's another one of those really fine ones. This one had some marks on one side, but if you put it on that side, you can't see it. Can't see it that bad. It'd go all right on a journal. That's what I'd put that one on. Some stitching. Look at this stitching. It looks nearly as good on the back side. What the heck? That's the back side. That's the front side. Oh. It's definitely a lost art. There's another little one. This little handkerchief is so cute. Look at the pattern on it. And then this one, this is even cuter. Look at the stitching on that. That is so cute. And I've got a little, just a little multicolored one that was that whole bundle there was a dollar and then I've got I got these from another shop another time I'll just quickly show you this this is cute with the little um, Mexican guy on it oh, that way up that one's cute too this one And these two were matching. I don't know where they are. I think they're napkins. Yeah. The others were hankies. I love these little sandwich sized ones. You might have seen in one of my videos I put um, a doily on the cover. And my sister-in-law loved it. Another really 
fine one. That's just beautiful. These, there's two like this one that match. Absolutely stunning. Like that. Then there's two like that one that match. And one last one. So those ones probably would have cost me, I don't know, three or four dollars for that pile. But that one, that huge pile, was a dollar. Crazy. And this little pattern here, I think they, I don't think they even charged me for that pattern, did they, Dave? I think it was just, they would have just thrown it in with the doilies. It's got a cool retro picture on the front. I'll probably cut that out. And um, yeah, that's what I've been using to do the flowers and you know you can do that as well the, the instructions okay here's a quick look at the books that I've been finding at the tip shop I found an old vintage crochet book which is pretty cool I found I love this one it's um a, an old geography book school geography book and it's got some amazing pictures in here maps and pictures I'll show you look at that isn't that beautiful I think there's a few like that through the book really nice coloured maps I don't know whether this one, yeah, is it, um, what year it was. Let's see if I can find it. Uh, 71 or 72. Jacarinda Atlas. I found this book, which um, I want to do something special with this book coming up soon. And it's got all games in it old-fashioned games like that some of it's been scribbled in but a lot of it hasn't these are cool features and another game there's about three or four games in it that looks really cool doesn't it So yeah, I've got something special in mind for that book. Um, this one is, I love the papers in that. They're real, real um, shiny and, and um, I don't know what you call it, but look how aged they are. And it's a, just a book of verses. I like how people have underlined bits that they've liked or whatever. This one is gorgeous. This one is a, um, an Australian wildflower one. Look at the pictures in that. Look at that. It's just absolutely beautiful. Almost don't want to cut it up. Shell Motor Tools, oh, it's put out by the Shell um, Motor thing back in the day. I've got a few nice um, seashell pictures with that from that same shell thing. Now that this was the old whale book that I found. This is what I got a lot of the pictures out of to do my daughter's um, whale watching book. I think there was two. I used, used up bits of two books. There's still some nice images in this one. This one, <coughs> excuse me, it's got some really cool old pictures in there. Pages have aged really nicely. You know, I guess they send some of these books to the tip shop or whatever, or they find them at the tip, 
uh, people take them to the tip instead of the op shop and they put them in their shop to sell because they don't they, they mustn't think that you know they're good enough to to sell but I just got a whole heap of books for next to nothing how much was that pile of books we got Dave from the tip shop a few bucks look at that life on the pond how cool is that I think one or two trips and I've got enough books here to <laughs> last me for a while. There's some cool pictures in there. I love the old comics too. Oh, I think this is a boy's book of things to do. That's pretty cool. Yeah, a book for boys. Um, and a children's dictionary. These are always fun because they've got little pictures. You see, this one's fallen apart. Got little pictures, and plus you've got the dictionary words. I mean, you only need one, and you've got enough to last you for <laughs> however long you want to do that sort of stuff for. An old cookbook. There's a million and one cookbooks out there, but I just thought I would pick one fairly old-looking one. I mean, this one, there's older ones than this, I guess, but um, this would be 70s, would it? Or let's have a look. Yeah, 76. Uh, another dictionary. Like, it's like the, the dictionary I've been using, the one I've been using to do all my flowers and stuff. It's quite it's quite a bit I don't know I'd say it would be older yeah 72 that was printed and that and the pages are see how brittle they are you just got to go like that touch them and they start to tear this one I'd say would be around the 80s I've already torn it out of her yeah it looks like the 80s era because I can remember these at school. So that's, um, I mean, it's got the nice holes here too in the ring binder holes. It's still got the aging around the edge. But um, it's a lot stronger paper, that one. That's what I started. That's what it's, this one here I stamped on. Remember in one of my other videos, I can link it down below, um, stamped a picture on and coloured it in because the basics of the page were still quite white. Um, there's a nice book on roses. Really, a lot of black and white pictures, but they're still beautiful, the black and white pictures. And then you've got some coloured ones on this one. They, um, see, it's got that old fashioned photo look. And here, there's a couple of really nice photos. I think it was of a big yellow one. This one's had a bit of water damage, but hey, that's why it was at the tip shop, I guess. See, I love that. That reminds me, I just seen that picture and I just thought about my mum. I don't know why. She didn't, she, I think she had one or two rose bushes and they're probably that color. That's why it just stood out. Well, she might've had yellow. I can't remember, but I don't know why that reminded me of my mum. Don't see that, just really old photos. She used to love growing um, sweet peas as well. I can always remember her sweet peas. And down the side of the house we had jonquils and daffodils. See, look at that big full page of a rose. Doesn't even fit in my camera frame. So that was cool. Um, this was an interesting book. I think it's all in French, but I just love the outside of it. It would be cool to gut, gut this and actually um, make a little junk journal out of it. It's got some cool pictures in it. And don't ask me what sort of book it is because <laughs> it's all in a different language, but um, I sort of thought... It looked like a playbook, but I don't think it is. 
But that's cool, hey. This one here. It's just a kid's book. I loved all those pictures. And oh, this one had all postcards in it, which were cool. But the little kid has written back to home as he goes around the world. Here's some cool pictures here. Now I've used the, um, some pages out of this one already for other things. That one's cool. Um, um, I found a, an, a family tree album that hadn't even been used and I've been tearing pages out of that. It's got some great um, pictures in it. Like it's got just blank paper. Mm. I love that this put storytellers in here in a family tree because we have a family of storytellers. <laughs> <laughs> the stories tend to get longer and longer every time um, and more involved <laughs> so this was a pretty cool pickup you know lots got really nice pictures in here I put some pages from this book into my sister-in-law's junk journal so yeah see it's got some cool pictures in here so that was cool and it's always good to find a book with um um with verses in it this one's an old helen helen steiner rice book and it's got some beautiful uh, retro type flowers and pictures in here of flowers but along with it goes you know a nice poem so when you turn the page over your junk journal or whatever you can read something good because sometimes when you pick a book and put a random page in there people stop and read those pages <laughs> and sometimes they can say something really weird look at that it says let us leave what it, does it say leave in leave in faith something oh gosh i have trouble reading running writing someone's written a nice little thing to remember under that that's helped them that day i was always had trouble reading my own mother's run and writing let us join in joyous praise praise our voice to joyous praise i think thank our lord for life and grace oh she's written some more dave this whoever's got this book has written um some a few more lines to the verse underneath well either that either that or helen steiner rises Left it out. Yeah, and she's put her own couple of more verses there. Ha, <laughs> that's cool. That's cool. I've got Dave home. Ha, <laughs> for the weekend. Woohoo. Been, um, doing stuff in our new camper. So, yeah, it's good to get a verse book. Something inspiring that you can put in your junk journal. This one's a little cute book. I love these books. Um... My son had a collection of the King Arthur ones when he was little. I think he still got them. And he loved them. The Little Ladybird books. This one's about the elves and the shoemaker. I love the pictures in here. They're cool little books, these. Um, this one, this is a beautiful book. I'm going to have trouble deciding which which bird pictures I use, especially on double paged like that, especially when it comes to, oh look at that, we've seen all these when we are going around Australia, they're just amazing, the zebra finch, just amazing, it was on the west coast, up near, um, what was that? Wyndham. Remember we went out on the wharf, Dave? At Wyndham? Wyndham. Up near Derby. And the water was real dirty, remember? Like, just real muddy. 
we went out on the wharf and um, in the bushes were those these little features when we were walking back. But I'm going to have trouble deciding what ones I choose there too. I love the budgies. Oh, it's a sudden Konya. Oh, I miss my baby boy. I had to give my son Konya away before we went away. I felt so bad and I've missed him ever since. He was like my best friend. All right. And this book, oh, this is a huge book. Uh, it's called The Chronicles of Australia. It's nice and fat. This is the book I'm going to use. Oh, look at the bribe tree. This is the book I'm going to use to for the bones of our junk journal for our going around Australia. But, oh my gosh, there's some awesome stuff in here. If you're from Australia, um, look out for this one in the op shops and stuff. Because I've seen a few. I've seen a couple already since I bought this one. Um, hanging around. And it starts off right, you know, it's got pictures from way back so it's got the history up until of Australia I would love to actually read this myself when we were at school we never our history was not on Australia it was ridiculous we had a um, I, I had a history teacher that loved drawing Neanderthal man and in geography we didn't we just oh we did a little bit in geography about Australia but not learn the history of Australia how stupid is that I would love to read this book actually see that's um, 1980 I think it goes up to 86 did I see oh no 92 it goes up to 92 but there's some incredible stuff in there Chronicle of Australia oh, oh it's really heavy so that's a good book I'm gonna gut for my um, junk journal for that now the nicest book I've found and I'm gonna have trouble actually doing anything with this is um, it didn't have a cover on it but it's called my big my big book of bedtime story oh, my big bedtime book what year was that put out um, oh, it was put out in 88 but what I like about it, look at these pictures, aren't they gorgeous, is the big font. You don't find many of those bedtime books with the big font. And I love it. It's just amazing. There's some beautiful pictures. But they're all double, excuse me, they're all double sided. So you'd have to choose which ones. But oh look, if I found another one, I'll just keep this book. It's just beautiful. I just really don't want to cut it up but then I do <laughs> that's the trouble so that was that was my I reckon that was my best find so they're the books that um, there's a few more but they're just like they that's the best these are the best of what I found I found this little book in an op shop somewhere around Australia I think we might have been in South Australia and I'm not going to cut it or nothing, but this one's called um, the gift from the gift from the sea. And if you do, I don't know whether you if you know me, you know that I love to collect shells, and that was one of our biggest things we did around Australia was beach comb. That was one of my um, all time things that I wanted to do was beach comb Australia, and um, yeah, I've done it. It's just incredible. I'm sitting behind me. I have like three tubs of shells I have to go through yet too. Now, in another, this was in a second-hand shop um, in Albany, Western Australia, and I found this. And I will never cut this up. It is absolutely beautiful. It's another vintage shell book. I've got a collection of vintage shell books at home uh, in my in the storage bay, but I found probably. Oh, there's a few more down there. So, um, in my little bookcase here, I found probably half a dozen books to go, more books to go in my shell book. Hang on, what year is this? This one's the Great Barrier Reef, and it's 1961. Now, the oldest of my um, vintage shell books that I've got, I think I've got one that's 
in the 50s. No, two. Two that are in the 50s and they're um, in my storage bay. But um, this would be the second oldest that I've got. And look at the pictures. They're just amazing. I love it. I was so excited to find this book. This one, like I said, it wasn't in an op shop. It was in a second-hand shop. I think it cost me about $10. But that's pretty good. $10 or $11 for um, a book this old. I rarely find shell books in the op shop. Rarely. So... Um, most of my shell books that I've found, the vintage ones, I've either bought on eBay or um, my brother, he loves books with a passion. He's, um, he's found me quite a few as well when he goes out looking. Um, aren't they beautiful? Just the graphics are just amazing. I can't even get them all in the shot. Absolutely stunning. I know there's just a there will, there will be a lifelong connection for me with shells, and it's my <laughs> I have to blame my mum. <laughs> no, but she's um she just taught us to get down and look at the tiniest of shells on the beach, and be patient enough to find them to um, look at their shapes and pick them out then from a mile away. My mum's got a shell collection as well and I've got a shell collection and I know some others in my family like to collect shells as well. So, um, look, I was just so happy to find this. I follow a, a guy on... Um, Instagram and and but he's in Japan and he um finds a lot of those cones and then we met a guy in Melbourne and his lovely fiance going around Australia well I knew him on I met him on um Instagram but we met up going around Australia for the first time we've seen them in Bowen and then we met up again in in um Broome and then um yeah and he's on the go at the moment I don't think he's game enough to come back to Melbourne <laughs> for Victoria until we we'll, like, open it up. He's up, up in Queensland looking for shells. It's just amazing. I just I never get tired of looking at this book. I've I have found one of these before on our beaches. It was that that was the best weekend. It was a Mother's Day weekend. David said, "Look, I'll take you to the beach," and um. We found a whole one of these, so I was so excited. And I have found, oh, before we left um, the mid-north coast, I found one of these on our beach there too. That was amazing. I nearly fell over when I found that. Cowries, I found one of these in Western Australia. That was pretty cool. Found one of these, one of these. Um, one like these two here. I found one like that too in um, New South Wales before we left. That little one there, I bought a pair of earrings with them on it. It's just, I don't know, it's just, I just love it. I love it. It just kept, keeps me connected with nature and I love walking along the beach once I've found a shell and, and feel, do you just touch it? And it's just, it's like nothing else. I can't describe it. It's just like nothing else. I am um, um, missing the beach. Oh, when we went across the Nullarbor, we found fossils too. In the Nullarbor, we have found some fossils um, in Melbourne when we were there before the, all this pandemic. Stupid pandemic. Gosh, it's really stuffed this world up, isn't it? So that's my look through books and um, yeah look um, it's worth having a look at the tip shop if you have one in your area. So thanks for looking and I'll catch you next time. Bye.